Hello YouTube, uh, so today uh, I just finished watching the Nintendo Direct Japanese version and I thought about not doing a video because I'm like, uh, it's probably not gonna be so good, you know. And then, well, I guess I was wrong because I was really excited for most of the stuff they announced or they mentioned on there and I just wanted to talk about, you know, things that I'm interested in. So I'm not going to do a recap of the whole thing because I'm sure other people are gonna be doing that anyways. Uh, I'm sure they can do better than me anyway, so yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go in order. I wrote everything down on the computer. So the first thing I was kind of interested in, or actually not interested in the game itself, was the Kirby game that was already available on the 3DS. I guess they're like uh, making an improved version of it for the Switch. The only thing <laughs> I'm really interested in in this game is because, or the only reason I'm interested in this be is because I saw the big Waddle Dee in one of the videos. I mean, in the clip that they showed. And that's that's it. I probably won't even play it. I just thought it was cute. And then they also showed some more footage of uh, Trials of Mana, which was never released over here, I believe. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not into the Mana games myself, but I think I'll pick this one up because it actually looks really good. And then... They uh, showed, in, I think it's an indie game called Return of the Obra Sin. Um, I'm usually not into these kind of game mystery solving games, but the concept of how you can turn back time to see how the people died and you have to solve the mystery, it sounded very interesting. And I don't really like how it looks, I mean it's all in black and white, uh, but I might try it out because it, it feels like it's a different kind of game. And then, after that, they showed the Banjo gameplay, which is coming out today. Well, yesterday, I guess, when I uploaded the video. I'm not sure if I'll upload it today or tomorrow, so yeah. Anyways, right after the Direct, it's available to download. And they also announced a new character. I swear that um, I thought they were going to announce the new character at the end of the video, how they usually always do. But um, yeah, I guess the rumors were true. They're including Terry from King of Fighters. I thought, I really don't like Terry myself. I don't think he's like the most iconic character, or maybe he is, I'm not even sure anymore. Um, but I like the video that they made, you know, how they're trying to grab the invitation. Uh, and nobody could get it until it fell on the ground and Terry picked it up. I kind of got excited when I saw Iori. But um, yeah, I don't know what I expected. I knew he wasn't gonna be in the game. But yeah, a very interesting, a very cool video they made. And then they also announced that they'll be making more than five characters because they had said that they were only gonna add five characters other than the Piranha Plant. But I guess they're making more. I mean, they're making money, so why not? Uh, as long as it's good. And then. This was kind of, kind of, kind of, very unexpected. They announced that they will be releasing, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it in English, Kulon uh, Yoma Gakuenki. So this is like an adventure RPG type of game that was released on the PlayStation 2 uh, in Japan only. And I did a video about it while, I think it was almost a year ago now, yeah. Uh, so, if you want to know what it's about, check out my video, I guess. Uh, I didn't see many people talking about it when I actually did the video, that's why I made the video myself. But, it's a really cool RPG. Um, it's like a um, visual novel with RPG with lots of adventure and mystery. Yeah, anyways. And then, they also announced that they'll be releasing Fire, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions for the Switch. I knew they were going to do it because it was one of those games that I feel like they put a lot of effort into but I'm sure it didn't sell well because it was out on the Wii U. I mean, who bought games on the Wii U? By the time that game came out, like everybody was done with the Wii U. So I'm really happy that they're releasing this one. I have the game but I haven't played it because I don't like the Wii U. Um, I'll pick it up again to play on the Switch. And then they showed some footage of Mario and Sonic Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Um, I really don't care for these games, but I thought that it was cool that they added like a 2D game mode uh, for some of the mini games, and it has even the story mode for if you don't have friends to play with. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, 
they also announced in the Japanese version, version of the Direct. I'm not sure if this is included in the American version since this game never came out over here, I believe. Um, they're doing Famicom Detective Club on the Switch. So this, these games were very popular in Japan. It's like a mystery solving um, text adventure game. Uh, I feel like this will make lots of like older gamers really happy because they haven't released anything new in a long time. Um, and then, surprise, they m announced that they'll be adding SNES games to the Nintendo Online, SNES Online or Super Famicom Online. And they'll be adding all the games, I guess, was it today or tomorrow? I think it was tomorrow. Uh, including Kirby 3. I never played Kirby 3, so I'm really happy they're including that. Uh, I'm gonna maybe do a let's play or something of some of the games because I feel like I really haven't played so much of the Nintendo or Super Nintendo games. And although I'm not into the Famicom or Nintendo games as much, I do want to play some of the Super Nintendo games. So I'm really happy they did that. And they also announced the controller like they did with the Famicom one that you can buy with the membership. Um, yeah. They also announced some uh, eShop digital games. Uh, there's one called Mistover. Is it Mistover or Mistover? I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing Mistover because it's one word. But it's um, it looks like Darkest Dungeon with uh, Etrian Odyssey. And I've been following that game for a while and waiting for it to come out because it looks kind of interesting. So I'm glad they announced that it was going to be out for the Switch. Um, they also announced Brigandine, which I'm not sure if it was released over here. I don't know how they pronounce it over here, but Brigandine in, in, in Japanese. Uh, this game is a strategy RPG game where you can pick from lots of different heroes or characters and uh, you use monsters in your team too and, you know, uh, strategy RPG with monsters and people fighting at the same time. Looks pretty cool. Not sure how, if it's available over here or if they announced it over here. And then I was like, oh, I think that's gonna be it. I don't think there's not gonna be anything more interesting. And they announced Mojipitang. <laughs> uh, this game never came out over here, but it's like, it's like crosswords, but better. <laughs> so if you want to learn Japanese, you might want to pick it up because you have to like form words with the Japanese characters. Yeah. Um, the music is great. It's so catchy. And then they also announced Momotaro Dentetsu. So this is gonna be a really huge deal for some gamers in Japan because this is one of those popular titles that um, many people love. It's like a Monopoly type of game but has more elements to it and so many people have been waiting for this so I'm happy they finally announced it. Yeah. And then, at last, they announced that they will be releasing Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Mm, I guess it was the closing title because it's supposed to be really a big thing, but since I'm not into Xenoblade myself, I didn't. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, where's my Shin Megami Tensei? Haha. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, they're releasing that in 2020. Other than that, uh, there were gameplay footage of the Pokemon Sword and Shield, Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, and games that were already announced also. Um, I guess it's kind of weird because I think it was a great direct, but um, <laughs> after I got to... Okay, so, so I started off with Kirby, Luigi's Mansion, you know, it's like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. And then they announced a new fighter for Smash, and I'm like, ooh, I'm getting excited. And then they said another fighter, ooh, I'm more excited. And then they announced uh, the Kulon Yoma Gakuenki. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. And then Fire Emblem, or is that Fire? Sharp FE? Fire Emblem Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I'm like, whoa, yes. And then it kind of stayed there, and then... Like, it didn't go higher than that. So, yeah. Like, I got excited in the middle of the direct, but not so much at the end, which is kind of strange. Uh, but overall, I think it was a great presentation. And I didn't get ex too disappointed because I wasn't expecting to see the Shin Megami Tensei game anyways. Wow, 
three months until two two thousand nineteen is over. So yeah, at least let us know when it's coming out. I think the most thing I'm excited for was the Kulon Yo Magakuenki and um, the SNES online. I think that's great. Um, I might not get like a lot of use out of it compared to other people, but. I do enjoy the idea of having something else other than the NES games because I'm not really into those games. So yeah, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments and thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.